Hey, Ethan Skolnick here at Madison Square Garden. I'm here with John Cozan. You know him as Brass Jazz on Twitter. Of course, you can find me at Five Reasons Sports and at Ethan J. Skolnick. The Miami Heat just got swept in New York, lost to the Nets while up nine with four minutes left, and then gave up 40 points in the fourth quarter to the New York Knicks of all teams. Julius Randle went off on them tonight. Um, your number one takeaway? Poor defense, back-to-back -back games. And, uh, and it's not really the offense. They're scoring. Uh, until the fourth, that is. Um, but yeah, they just they really couldn't get it down in a long stretch. And earlier in the season, that really hasn't been too much of a problem once you get in the last couple minutes of a game. And yeah, they just couldn't make it happen back to back games. Well, the thing Eric Spolster talked about today is our offense has bailed us out. Like, we, and, and he asked, I asked Jimmy Butler after, he said they, he believes they've had four good defensive games the whole year. So this is a team that's supposed to be top 10 in defense. I know the questions are going to come up about Justice Winslow, who's going back to get uh, another evaluation of his back, but I don't know when he's going to be back, if at all. So they've got to get better with the group that they have. Myers Leonard talked about communication. But here's the big question. Do they need another big? Because we're seeing that guys are getting into the paint. I don't know how that stops. Dragic and Nunn are not great at the point of attack. So guys are going to get into the paint. I think Jimmy's a little tired defensively. But then there's really no one there to resist them. How do they do it with the current roster? You know, I'm not really sure. Uh, yeah, Myers seems to really kind of cut it on the, on the offensive end. But, uh, yeah, defensively, getting the boards, you know, especially late games, it's it's really an issue. And I, I'm a little bit surprised at the lack of uh, Chris Silva minutes mm -hmm. uh, over the last uh, really couple weeks. Yeah. Um, he hasn't played much. And, again, that two-way contract's coming up, although they don't seem to be concerned about it. The one positive tonight is they're breaking this thing down behind us. James Johnson uh, was terrific, scored over 20 tonight, I believe. Um, so, now, I mean, this is a couple of strong games in a row. He's clearly in the rotation. Kelly Olin is not. I thought he gave him something tonight. He gives him another ball handler, but he's also not a rim protector, right? So, I mean, we've got to be honest about that. They don't really have a lot of rim protectors on this team. They've got to get better at the point of attack. Coming up this week, they've got San Antonio on Wednesday, so a couple of days off. But first time, John, they've lost two games in a row the entire season. So, we're going to get a sense of where they are. Check out five on the floor tonight. I'm going to drop some, not trade news, not trade news, but kind of trade targets, some things that I've heard.